Since we launched the Events Calendar 2.0 as a replacement to the open source community for Events Calendar 1.6.5, one question that has come up a lot is how do I migrate my events from 1.6.5 to 2.0? That's what I want to cover in this brief screencast here. And you'll see that if I go to my plugins page, right now I have only activated the Events Calendar 1.6.5. So I'm in the same position one of you guys would be in if you had said, okay, I want to update, but I haven't initiated the process yet. You'll see underneath it prompts me to update to 2.0. I could do that by clicking on one of these links, but right below I actually already have installed 2.0. I just haven't activated it yet. So we don't need to worry about the update process right now. But before I actually try to make the switch, I want to go see how many events I have in place here. You'll see of my six entries, five of them are events. So I'm hoping that if all goes according to plan, all five of these events will be migrated over in a minute when I make the switch. Before you actually attempt to migrate, you should definitely back up your database. I've been using a lightweight little plugin to do this called WordPress Database Backup. You'll see once I have it activated here, it creates this little backup section in my tools menu that allows me to configure what I want to back up, how frequently, etc. Definitely want to do this so that you have the data to fall back on if you ever need it. We've tried to make the process as smooth as possible, but there is always a chance for error. And since this is a fairly major upgrade, you should definitely make sure you have the data to revert to if you need it. That being said, assuming I just did that, let's go ahead and actually turn on 2.0. Now before I turn on 2.0, I do have to deactivate 1.6.5. You cannot activate 2.0 on top of 1.6.5 or else you get an error message. So let's just deactivate right now. And once that's off, turn on 2.0. And you'll see that immediately upon doing so, it gives me a message saying that I have events that need to be migrated and that I need to visit the settings page to initiate that. So if I click this link, it'll take me there. And I need to ignore everything on the settings page, just scroll all the way down to the very bottom where I have this upgrade from the events calendar box. It tells me pretty much I have some data that needs to be migrated, I should definitely do a backup beforehand, and that this cannot be undone. Assuming I agree with all that, I'm satisfied with it and I'm ready to go, I'm just going to hit this migrate data button. Now before I do that, it's important to note that you do not need to have the Events Calendar Pro plugin activated in order to do this. The migration is handled within the Events Calendar, so if you're going open source to open source, you don't have to buy anything to do this. It's going to work without issue. Once I hit Migrate Data, depending on how much content you have, it might take a little longer, but since I only had five entries, it took just a second. It tells me I successfully migrated five entries, so we know that all five of those events that we had carried over actually came. And when I go look at my events, you'll see the same five that we were looking at a minute ago were carried over without issue. If I view one of them on the front end, all the details are still there, the location, when it's taking place, the description. And it's just like the event that you had created in 165. So it's a pretty straightforward process. The points I just want to drive home are definitely make sure that you're backing up in case you have any issues. And just make sure to scroll to the bottom of the settings page. One of the issues some people have is they can't find it, but because they're looking for the, the migration button a little earlier on, they're not going to actually see it. Now, we may move that a little higher on the page at some point. For now, it is on that settings page at the bottom. Anytime you see that prompt that we were looking at in the little red box, you'll know that the system knows you need to migrate those events, and there will be that uh, migration button somewhere. I hope that helps, and I hope this helps make the process easier for you guys as you upgrade from 165 to 2.0. Thanks again.